Hi, boys and girls. Well, today's story is about living or non-living. And when I look at these two frogs, I can see, well, they're both frogs, but there's something different about them. Like, I can see that this one has the moist skin. This one looks kind of fuzzy. Hmm, let's find out what it means by living and non-living. Living or non-living by Kelly Hicks. Ah, my good friend, the table of contents. So I know that this book is going to give me information because it is non-fiction. Good job. I can see that I can look for It's Alive and I'll find that information on page four. And then What's for Dinner information would be on page six. Does it need air? Well, that information is on what? page 12. And then, are you thirsty? That information will be on page 14. Does it move? That information will be on page 18. And show what you know? That's going to be on page 22. So hopefully we can show what we know. It's alive. What animal do we have here? Yep, yeah, we have goats. And we know goats breathe in fresh air as they look for a stream to get a drink of water. Cool. Think about the world around you. How do you know if something is alive? If it needs food, water, and air to survive, it's a living thing. Hmm. So I need food, I need water, and I need air. I must be alive. What's for dinner? Living things need food to make energy. A pig eats slop. It must be living. A farmer mixes cornmeal and water to make slop, and it's used to feed the pigs and other livestock. So if that animal is eating and drinking and needs energy, then that one's living. Plants are living too. They make their own food with a little help from the sun. They make their own food using sunlight, which is called photosynthesis. Daisies use energy from the sun to make food. That's what this little note here says. Hmm. Do you feed your computer? Mm-mm. It doesn't need food to survive. So is it living? Nope, it is non-living. Yeah, could you imagine if you had to feed your computer? It'd say, probably say things like, I right, need to eat some food. Does it need air? Take a deep breath. People are living things and need air to breathe. Does a rock breathe? It must be non-living. Yeah, because I don't see any rocks with noses or lungs taking in air. Oh, it's not living. Are you thirsty? If it is a living thing, it needs water. Water helps living things stay healthy. I like drinking water. I have water with my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner, and then sometimes in between. A horse drinks water. It must be living. A bicycle doesn't drink water. Hmm. It must be non-living. Wow, could you imagine if you had to feed your bicycle water to drink? That would be kind of funny. Does it move? Hmm. Living things can move. Some living things hop, skip, or run. Plants move too. They turn to face the sun and they open their flowers to bloom. 
And let's see, they also grow up out of the ground. That's moving. Sunflowers all bend towards the sun to catch the most sunlight. That's called phototrophic, as they follow the sun. Hmm. A book cannot move on its own. It must be non-living. Yeah. Usually I have to pick up the book and take it where I need it to go. It doesn't have legs, so it doesn't move to where it wants to go. That would be kind of funny if it did. Can you pick which things are living and which things are non-living? Okay. Plastic shovels. Would they be living or non-living? Do we feed it? Does it breathe? Does it need air? Does it move on its own? Mm -mm. Non-living. A tree. Does it need food? Yes, it makes it from the sunlight. Does it need water? Yes, it sucks it up through its roots. Does it move? Well, it grows up out of the ground and it moves when the weather moves it and the leaves open to catch the sun and sometimes some of the trees lose their leaves. Yep, it's living. Um, jars of paint. Well, I don't feed it. Doesn't need water. I don't see it breathing. Non-living. Beach ball. Does it need food? No. Does it breathe? No. Does it drink water? No. Does it move? Well, yeah, if I kick it or the wind blows it, but it doesn't need those other three things, so it's not living. A turtle. Mm. It eats. It breathes. It needs water. Yep. It's living. A puppy! Hmm, puppies for sure. Definitely living. They breathe. They need food. You gotta take them for a walk. Otherwise, they just bounce all around the house. Oh, wow, yeah. Definitely living. Show what you know. That's what this one says over here. So it's got a magnifying glass because it wants you to show what you know. Can you name two things that are alive? Think about what are two things you know that are alive? Is a toy robot living? How do you know? And how do you know if something is living or non-living? Hmm. See if you can answer those questions. Can you name two things that are living or alive? Is a toy robot living? How do you know? And how do you know if something is living or non-living? See if you can answer those questions. Maybe you could ask your mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, aunts or uncles, brothers or sisters, see if they know what makes something living or non-living. See if you can figure it out. All right, scientists, go find something alive.